So is Cam Newton back? I mean, he I thought he played well. I really did. I thought he played well. I I think think that uh, you know definitely looks healthy. So that's nice to see. Uh, you know, he was largely a running threat. So that's really really what I want to talk about in this video is how his running ability uh, helped. Uh, New England, he did end up with 155 yards on just 19 attempts passing, which is, you know, over eight yards per attempt. That's pretty good. Uh, but I want to talk about his running ability, uh, what it brought to the New England Patriots, because I think that's the more interesting thing. Uh, and let's just get into it. We'll start things off with this play. So uh, what you see on the screen right here is there's a couple offensive linemen are getting pulled over. They're going to block uh, two linebackers in this area. But what's really interesting on this play is the Miami Dolphin who I have circled as nobody is in charge of blocking him. And this is what having a running quarterback can do for your offense. This is the key attribute uh, that what basically what it does is that regardless of who's running the ball, it gives you an extra blocker in a sense. You can afford to give him, um, you know, leave him unblocked because it could be Cam Newton or it could be a handoff. So you don't know exactly what's going to happen. And so watch how right when Cam Newton gets the ball, he's going to fake as though it could be a handoff. Off, and that Miami player, he kind of is in a position now where he has to do his best to make sure he can tackle either one of them. So typically what you want to do is you want to make sure you don't get to the outside as much as possible. You know, worst case scenario, you push them back towards the middle of the field. So really you want to take away the half back here and you want to make sure you're further towards, uh, you know, in, in this case, it would be further towards the bottom of the screen uh, than the halfback at all times. Uh, and then if you see that Cam Newton keeps the ball, then you go after him. And that's what he realizes. And, you know, it is Cam Newton holding the ball. So he is going to try and make a play. Uh, and he actually does a pretty good job. It's actually a pretty good defense. But he's just not able to grab Newton because of how big he is and because of how fast he is. He has that combination of speed and strength that, uh, you know, is often talked about. Really, really speed and size. And it really shows right there. While, of course, those are going to be the highlight reel plays that Cam Newton runs, uh, and especially the ones where he looks as good as he looked on that run, uh, it's not just when he runs with the ball. It's also handoffs. You Having a quarterback who you have to respect in the running game helps your own running game, even if you, even if you just hand it off uh, to a halfback. Like on this play, uh, it's going to be a, a halfback handoff this time, and they can leave a player on the edge completely unblocked right here, uh, which, again, you would never do if this was just a traditional run because then it would be a tackle for a loss of yards every single time. But watch how that player, you know, he has to respect Cam Newton. He goes too far to the inside, and that just allows for Rex Burkhead to pick up a, a ton of yards. And again, that kind of goes back to what I'm saying, too, where that time, not great defense. You want to make sure you're in position that, that you can tackle Burkhead, if nothing else. You, It's much better if Cam Newton is running up the middle and you have one less blocker than it is if someone's running around the edge and there's no blockers, because that's almost always going to result in like a 7 to 15 yard gain. Obviously, it's still an advantage if, you know, one blocker has been taken out of the play, but it's a much bigger advantage if you can just run up to the top of the screen and a contained man uh, is not able to keep his containment. So it's not a great gap responsibility on that one. And that is the kind of thing, too, where it's like, I don't want to overreact after one game. While Newton did look very good, uh, I, I think it's also worth mentioning this was against Miami. This isn't against the best team, and it'll be interesting to see uh, what happens in future weeks. They play Seattle, so seeing how they go up against Jamal Adams should be very interesting next week. Uh, and then they got the Raiders, they got the Patriot, uh, excuse me, the Chiefs. They have the Broncos, 49ers, uh, even Bills. So they got some good defenses coming up. A couple of like, you know, maybe average to bad, but they got mostly good defenses coming up. So it'll be interesting to see what they do uh, later on. There's other ways that this can uh, be very effective as well. Uh, one thing that I really like what they did, they did this a good amount, is that uh, what you see, you see how they're blocking on the edge right here. Newton's just going to take the handoff and run it himself. Uh, and again, the advantage here is just the extra blocker. That's all it is with having Cam Newton run. Uh, you don't have to waste the player just giving a handoff, which you typically do. Newton can just run himself. But what they're also going to do is they're going to have a tight end run over, and he's actually going to block uh, a linebacker. And then what they're going to do is that they're going to have uh, – It'll be 72, uh, their right tackle. He's the one who's going to move over, and he's actually going to block the defensive back. So typically, it's already an advantage having a tight end blocking a defensive back. But with this, uh, it's a huge advantage if you have an offensive lineman blocking a defensive back. You're almost guaranteed to get the touchdown. The question is, will a tight end be able to block a, a linebacker? But typically, yes, because of the angle, because that's not what he's expecting. And it's just a good angle. You can uh, surprise them. 
and watch how Newton just takes the direct snap, runs to the top of the screen, and it's just too easy for him. Uh, he just walks in before he gets into the end zone. And by the way, I have to be honest, Newton has a problem with that. Newton does not like to sprint into the, he doesn't like to finish those plays, and it does co sometimes cost him. Uh, in fact, uh, you could maybe argue this is one of them, uh, this next one. It's a pretty simple play, kind of a similar idea, where once again, Newton is going to be the one guy uh, who runs to the bottom of the screen. Um, you're going to have a receiver sort of run out, a defensive back follows him, but then on the bottom of the screen, uh, the receiver runs out, a defensive back follows him. He can just sort of block him at that point uh, once Newton gets outside the pocket. Uh, and then you also can have um, your center will move out to block another player who's in the box, and then you're going to pull over your right guard. He blocks the edge rusher, just tries to get in his way a little bit. It's all about just just disrupting it a little bit, let Cam Newton get aside. Uh, and once you see, once this play starts, you know, Miami's doing an okay job of getting through these things. There's a couple of players who could potentially disrupt this play, but Newton is just too quick. And watch how Newton is able to run by them. Maybe it looked like he possibly could have, you know, accelerated a little bit more towards the end right there perhaps I don't know uh, but he got the touchdown anyway so it doesn't matter uh and you know I, I specifically remember the reason why I'm bringing it up is I specifically remember there was a game I believe it was against Atlanta when he kind of just like walked it maybe actually I think it was against the Saints where he just he walked in uh closer to the goal line and he ended up taking a big hit because he hadn't passed the goal line yet when he could have just continued running and gotten in so uh, again, not a big deal. Uh, I, 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 I sh wanted to show these plays because they're positive, not negative. I don't know why I'm harping on the negative. Let's get back to positives. One other play I really liked from him was this one uh, where uh, similar idea where you have a, you know, uh, you have a tight end block the, the edge player. Then the offensive lineman runs, down to, runs around to block the defensive back who's all the way in, in the containment area. Uh, you're going to have Newton runs to the bottom of the screen, gets past the line very easily, but now, you know, it's a third down and six, uh, 53 is right in that area, could potentially make this play, uh, this is definitely a very dangerous situation, this is also how some big hits happen, big collisions, you gotta think Newton doesn't want to take many more huge collisions like that, uh, but watch how he is sort of able to just dodge him, and, you know, gets, uh, right at that first down marker, now, it actually wasn't quite, uh, it was ruled a first down, ended up getting overturned, and ended up being a fourth down and one, uh, but they converted to fourth down and one, so, and scored a touchdown that iced the game. Uh, so, yeah, so I think Cam Newton, I think, uh, reason to feel optimistic, uh, I think that, uh, I think there was, you know, definite co fair concerns to have heading into this season, but he looked really good week one, I think, uh, and it, you, you gotta think that it's gonna continue to be good. Uh, I'm a little surprised they didn't throw the ball as much. I thought they were going to throw the ball a lot more. They really went very run heavy, which was surprising. I saw something that was with about 10 minutes left in the, it was t with 10 minutes left in the fourth quarter, 80% uh, of their pa their plays were either a running play or play action, which was, if it continued like that, it would be the longest uh, in any NFL game ever. So just absolutely absurd. They ran the ball a ton. And listen, it worked. So, I mean, why not? Uh, you got to think that's not going to happen against every team, especially against good run defenses. So it'll be interesting to see what they do. I think, again, we got some uh, interesting Patriots games coming up. It'll be interesting to see how this works. Uh, but, yeah, I thought, it was, I thought he looked good. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Were you impressed with Cam Newton and his performance? Uh, you know, let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And, of course, as always, thanks for watching.